We've come to that time in the church's year when we start to think about the time of Advent, a time of watching and waiting. And that just feels particularly relevant this year because, of course, this is a time of watching and waiting in all sorts of ways. We've just heard that lockdown is ending as planned on the 2nd of December. And we're also waiting to find out what tiers we're all going to be placed in, what sort of restrictions will be in place over the next few weeks. So we are, in a very real sense, watching and waiting for next steps. That's particularly relevant for those of us who are Christians because, of course, it chimes in with that time of preparation for Christmas when we prepare for the coming of the Christ child and also of course when we prepare for the coming of Jesus in glory to as the creed puts it to judge the living and the dead when we look towards that time with hope. So it's an important time for us all as Christians to watch and wait with those around us as we prepare for what is to come. This year, the diocese, I hope, are helping you to prepare in that way of watching and waiting through a resource called A Child Shall Lead Them. And I'd just like to read this quote from the very first page, a quote from the writings of Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who says this. The celebration of Advent is possible only to those who are troubled in soul, who know themselves to be poor and imperfect, and who look forward to something greater to come. In other words, we know our need of God. We know that of ourselves, we are not in a place where we have a sufficiency. And that is so much where we are at the moment, watching and waiting for the hope that is to come for a world that always, of course, needs to hear our message of Advent hope. But how much do they need to hear it this year? Whatever Christmas is like, and of course, in my previous talk, I said very clearly, Christmas is not cancelled, and of course it isn't. But whatever sort of Christmas we'll be able to keep this year. And I'm thankful that we now know that we'll be able to keep that Christmas as acts of public worship. But whatever kind of Christmas we keep, we know that we will be able to keep that Christmas fully in the hope of the one who comes to bring good news, the one who brings that message of hope. So, as with everyone else, we watch and wait to see how developments come. We watch with the hope of news of a vaccine that may yet bring us some relief. We know that we're going to face a winter that's going to be quite difficult, quite heavy at times, but let's be committed together that as the Christian people of this diocese, as the Christian people of Lancashire, we are committed to bringing that message of the hope that is to come as we watch and wait, not just for the things of the here and now, and as I look out over the fields, as I sit here recording, I see a wonderful creation, the here and the now. We are in still so many ways thankful for that which we have. But also that which is to come, the promise of a greater life, a life eternal, a life that brings us the fullness of that which we glimpse in this life. <laughs>